doesn't need any money. It's just the love of the game, and uh, that's that's where she's coming. I think she's done a super job coming back from the problems that she had. Great to see that. So she's got stronger. I think she we intends to get stronger still, and that tends to make me think that she will be back, and it'll be great. All right, once again, when the rains subside, we will get you back out to the action on all these outer courts. But first, let's take a listen to Venus Williams following her loss yesterday. Venus, what do you think you'll take away? What are your feelings about your singles run here and today's match? Yeah, today I, I did the best I could. Um, I think she, just, she played well at every single moment. There, there weren't a lot of opportunities for either one of us, so... She played well, and um, I, I gave it my all, and um, sometimes it's, it's not enough. And what are your feelings about the three matches you've played here and the week you've had? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I was playing well, and if I would have had the opportunity to, you know, play more, that would have helped. But I think, obviously, this is, um, you know, a, a great match for me, and I'm going to look forward to... Um, you know, play and try to play a lot of tournaments in the summer so I can just, um, you know, improve. Was it a matter of imagination or did you look a bit emotional at the end where you just thought maybe maybe that was a sign that you might not come back but you, you'll be back next year playing here again? I don't know. Have you ever lost a match before? Yeah. Then Loads. you <laughs> totally figure out what that feels like then. But I mean, that's not, it wasn't, our, our, you know, you, you're not good. You don't need for a follow-up on that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know obviously you came here to win matches, mm -hmm. but how much can you enjoy the battle of that when it's two former champions here going toe-to-toe -to -toe with so many, so few chances, like you said? Yeah, um, you know, the battle's always a little more enjoyable when you win, but when you lose, there's a lot, so much more learned from the, the situation. And I think, you know, just for me to be able to play that well, having really not played hardly any matches is, is good, and I think I'll just keep improving. Okay. Sounds like, uh, you know, even though you came out with a loss here, that, that the level that you, you sustained through a lot of that match has even reinvigorated coming out of here. Yeah, I mean, in those matches, you, it's, it's just the percentage and, and um, just trying to figure out um, how to, you know, hopefully come out on top and um, take your chances, and there really aren't any any chances ever. So, um, like you said, yeah. we're ge generally reinvigorated, you know, by just your level, you know, coming out of the tournament, even though it's, it's disappointing to lose. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely disappointing to lose. I don't, I don't go into any matches planning on a loss, so I would have liked to have a win, but, um, you know, I'll have to wait, unfortunately, quite a few more weeks to play another singles match so sometimes that can become problematic when you have to wait three and four and five weeks to play again so um it might be a better thing for me in the summer maybe to play more tournaments so that way I'll just have a chance to when it's really time to play good tennis I would have had those matches under my belt uh, you mentioned playing more matches what is your summer plan for uh this season? Yeah, at the moment I'm in Cincinnati and in Montreal. Are you thinking of adding another tournament? Oh, uh, well, I mean, this tournament is still going. I'm in the doubles, so that's mostly what's on my mind now. And then um, after that, I'll, I'll figure it out. Well, maybe not. Venus, are you a bit humored or amused by the fact that, I mean, you, you've played well this year, you won Dubai, you just played a pretty intensive match. That people are always trying to like retire you. Is that you no, know? there's the people who are trying to retire me since I was like 25. So <laughs> that's for some reason in tennis we always do that to our players. It's weird. Um, we don't encourage them to stick around. They're like, get out of here. So um, I'm not getting out of here. And I think this year has been a great year for me. I've had some tough losses, but I've learned a lot from them. And I'm finding my way back on my feet, and I'm and I, I I'm proud of myself for what I'm achieving on the court. Hard man. Venus, in ten years of covering Wimbledon, I've amassed a load of fans, but black fans specifically come to uh, watch you and your sister play. I just wanted to know if you are aware of that, and you know what you thought about that, how that made you feel. You've made SW19 a more inclusive place. Yeah, I think that. In general, I mean, I don't know, 
And American, we call him African American. I know what you guys call him here, black. No, we're, we're, that's black, we're, we're black here. Okay, I just I want to be politically correct, but um, <laughs> over the years I've seen, you know, more uh, different faces in the audience, and I think that's wonderful for tennis to grow, um, not just for me, but for all people to participate in the sport. Now, when I'm on the court, I, I'm not looking in the stands, so I can't see who's there. But sometimes afterwards, I, I take a look. When you first emerged on the tour in Oakland, there was a big, big hoopla about you and big build up, CNN, New York Times, so forth. Um, what's what's sort of more weird or strange, the big build up early in your career, or what you just said about, uh, or can you compare those two two sort of to what? Two phenomena in, in the in the media and the treatment of you. I'm not sure if I get what you're saying, but I was quite young, and I'm I'm really glad that I didn't crack under the pressure. Looking back, there was a ton, but thankfully, I believed in myself just enough to get through it, and um, had a lot of great uh, support from my family, so that that was good. And um, as of now, I'm I'm excited just be playing this sport and every every match is an opportunity to make something happen. And would you consider joining uh, Serena and playing Stanford? Oh yeah, like I said, I'm I'm so focused on the doubles right now. So that's what I really have to focus on is being a, a great team member, just unbelievable and keep the level of my play up and um, then go from there. On the white shirt. Years after your first title here, Venus, how do you summon the, the fortitude to play a match like that with such intensity? Yeah, um, it's a shame that there had to be a loser in this match, and more of a shame that it had to be me. But um, all I can say is that um, it's great to see women's tennis on such a high level, and um, you know, I always expect a, a great match when I play her. I mean, you look at our score lines, they're never easy. And she manages to somehow bring her best tennis against me. Um, so when I walk out on the court, I have to expect that from her. I know you wouldn't continue playing if you didn't think you could win, but do you think you have another Grand Slam title within you? I want to win Grand Slams. Everybody does. You don't get them. Look at what happened today. No one gives it to you. They, they snatch it away and say, mine. So that's what I have to do is snatch one and say mine too and growl if I have to <laughs> need be. So that's what that's what it takes. Has you gotten better over the course of your career at taking positives out of defeats? Um I, I I don't know, I'm motivated by every defeat, no matter how upsetting it is, it's it's never fun. So I'm I'm motivated to work harder each and every time, um, whether whatever stage it was in my career. Lady Kim Podarte Clummers put her remarkable longevity down to things like eating a sushi diet and getting a lot of sleep and that sort of thing. What is what is the secret to, to your longevity and being able to play matches like that two and a half hours at that level? Well I've missed big blocks in my career off of the court on injury so that has keep, kept me regenerated and I got extra steam because I got to make up for lost time. A few minutes ago you said you've learned from your losses. What have you learned from the loss today and recent losses even when you're playing so well about what level you can attain now and in the future? I think today I gave it my all and obviously it's just been you know, an hour or so since I played the match but um, I think that off of the ground, I don't think I was um, executing as well as I would have liked. But also, like I said, I think a lot of that is you can give it as much as you can, but sometimes just having an opportunity to be in a situation, play more matches, that helps you just to be you know, that much more calmer, that much more efficient. And um, I think that pretty much for, for me was the difference. A lady that going off that, was there any one point, there was so little sustained momentum for either one of you, it seemed like, um, was there any one point, maybe late in the second set, you were a couple points away from possibly, you know, taking the, the match that you wish you had back, sort of? No, I don't wish for the pass, personally, but um, I did the best I could on those points. She, 
she came up with unbelievable serves or something, um, you know, in, incredible or great second serves the whole match. So, um, you know, I it's not like I, I gave it away or made horrible mistakes or, or any of those things. She just um, managed to play really well in those points. One of the most incredible things we have in the sport recently is seeing Serena late into Grand Slams just fighting with this incredible ferocity. She's the greatest fighter in the women's game, many say. When you see her doing that, what, what goes through your mind and what do you think is at the core of that fight? Well, I'm fighting with her. I'm in the stands rocking back and forth, almost hitting the ball. So <laughs> that I'm pretty much right there with her, I'm fighting. Obviously, my perspective is a little bit different than you know most other people's. Back again. Twice as, almost twice as many unforced errors as you did today. Is that surprising? I haven't even had a chance to look at the stats yet, um, but she goes for every shot against me. Now, I'm not sure about other players. I don't always see her play, but it's definitely going for broke. And, um, so, um, like I said, I haven't seen the stats. Quite tight. I mean, I think your first serve was like 60%. If it had been a little bit better today, do you think you would have won? Um, I don't think I was bad today, so I would have liked to have won. But the only thing that I can do is, is learn from it and continue to improve. I knew what I can expect from her, definitely. We played uh, in Doha last night.